your dream. Hello everybody and welcome back to Blade Inspires and this is our episode 3. Thank you so much for joining us and I hope you're getting inspired with these real life stories from amazing people across the world. Today I'm joined by my international friend all the way from India, an amazing comedian, a crazy one in fact, a content writer, YouTube creator and so forth. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome on Blade Inspires, Sanjay from India. Hey, I'm Sanjay Manikthala. Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian. I lived for the last 10 years in India, and now I am back in Los Angeles. Um, I do comedy pretty much full-time. I also write, I make videos on YouTube, and pretty much try to make people laugh or inspire uh, themselves through comedy. Uh, I'm big on hacking creativity and productivity as well these days, which is why I'm up so early. It's good to have you here, bro. So how has been your career? Uh, it's had been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, Stand-up comedy is very interesting because one day you can perform for 5,000 people if you get a good opportunity, and another day you can perform for three or zero or two people, and there's a lot more days where you're performing for single digits or 5, 10, 20 people than there are hundreds and thousands, but uh, it's been a grind and I've been having a good time. I'm always interested to know from artists, have you actually ever had a zero attendance in a show? So oh, yes, as I mentioned, and I've also had many shows where nobody showed up and we've taken that time to then write with other comedians and figure out this game called life. And, uh, you know, I've always thought it's been a blessing, you know, to just be able to think that people are there to watch you and that attitude so far has served me well. Uh, sometimes, just like with anything else in life, it's more marketing, so you'll see other artists who package themselves up better or work more on their image than their jokes. Um, I've been guilty of it here and there myself once in a while. But, uh, you know, I've always just been happy that I've been lucky enough, at least in India, to start earning some money pretty quickly. And from there, now I'm back in Hollywood. Well, that's a great and encouraging way of looking at things. What has been your greatest success in your career? My greatest success in my career, probably when I got to tour India with Russell Brandt over like three cities and maybe, I think we did 15,000 people, maybe maybe 9,000, I'm not sure, somewhere between 10,000 and 15,000 um, people across Delhi, Bangalore, and Bombay. And probably recently I sold my podcast to Amazon and Audible and that was a nice, nice blessing, if you will. Great work, sir. What inspires you? Uh... Recently, my wife, because she's amazing and she's funny, and you know, she's made me look at life a lot fresher, a lot less as a jaded artist. But otherwise, uh, mainly uh, things I'm experiencing, things I see, uh, I write every day. So if I uh, see something happen on the road or my friend is angry at me for a certain reason or my mom says something or right now all the, all the corona stuff that's happening, um, I try to find inspiration from life. I don't wake up every morning uh, you know, it's like seven o'clock right now. I don't wake up every morning and, uh, you know, try to write about some inspirational stuff. Interesting indeed. Well, I really want to know you're a comedian full time, but I want to know how did you meet with your wife? Did she take you serious from the beginning? How did it go? You being a comedian, do you have a serious moment? Mm, my wife at first didn't know I was a comedian, which I always thought was interesting. Um, but she's been sweet, she's been amazing, and she's been very supportive, and I'm very lucky to have her. Uh, and she inspires me daily, and she's so funny, and it's, it's made me, you know, get a lot more marriage content. But she's been very supportive, her family's been very supportive. I guess what they say is true, that if you marry the right person, you are set for life. And so, how have you balanced the marriage and your celebrity life? Um, I'm not a celebrity here in America. <laughs> I think I have an audience here, but uh, balancing marriage uh, with getting noticed at the airport and such is funny. You know, it, it works out well. My wife was always teasing us, like, okay, I'm your photographer that's always with you and people want a selfie. But now these days on Instagram, people want a selfie with her, you know? So um, it's, been, it's been great and she's been so supportive and, you know, she brings out the best in me and I hope I bring out the best in her so it works out. That's when we all say, aw, sweet, with an A, W, 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 W. Anyway, on a more serious note, what keeps you going? Um, 
failure is not an option. So you just got to keep at it. You know, uh, you've, I've already doubled down. I left a day job. All my friends and family know I do this. So it's just, you know, eventually things will line up for me, you know, right timing, right place. And uh, I know it's on the horizon. I just can't imagine quitting. You know what I mean? Quitting is not an option. If I have to live in a small room or, you know, figure it out, beg, borrow, steal, which I hope I never have to do, but I, I just really want to keep doing this. It's so much fun and it makes me happy to do it. I mean, it's the funny thing about an artist is you'll, you'll think, you know, yes, we want to inspire. Yes, you want to make people laugh, but it's a lot for us. You know, we need this. We have that doubt and that drive and that creative will that we really need to exercise. It's been amazing having you on the program, Sanjay. Thank you so much for this. Words. Any final words to our viewers? Any inspirational message you'd like to leave with them? I think, I don't know if this is inspiration, but it's hard. You know, these days people like to hear about the struggle, the struggle, but uh, writing, comedy, music, all that sort of stuff, it's very difficult. So, uh, you know, keep at it and, uh, and nothing good is easy. So uh, it'll work out for you. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This was Sanjay, my brother, my Indian brother. I got the privilege to perform at his wedding. And as we close this episode, I'm going to show you a 10 second clip of me and Sanjay dancing at his wedding in Thailand. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Blade Inspires. Please keep supporting us and remember we are here to inspire you, motivate and ignite your dreams. God bless you and see you in the next episode. So